The Kron Harmon Emotional Boys season ended tonight in the first round of the playoffs with a 48-45 to loss. You know, the team played really hard this season. Uh, they had a really good time. Um, you know, this is intramurals. It's about fun. And I think out there we did have a lot of fun this season. Um, you know, we're upset at the end, uh, end result, but we'll be back. We'll definitely be back. Despite the loss tonight, the team was proud of the season as a whole. Season as a whole, I think we we had our wins and I, we had losses that we should have won, and that ended up making us have a pretty tough opponent first round. But you see here, you know, I think oh, when we were playing well, we were the best team in the league. And when we weren't playing well, it, it ended up costing us. So we got to be more consistent and look at it next year, and we got to make sure that we win the games we're supposed to win. The Emotional Boys end the season with a record of 14 and 5 and look to come back next year stronger than ever. We were there, like we were a couple plays away. Uh, one play actually forced it overtime and then uh, you know we had a chance to win it overtime, but uh, I thought we played well. I mean uh, there are some questionable calls in terms of like, this this league is you know there's no ref, so it's all what you call, what you see. So I mean but at every game you can pinpoint a couple plays that they call that probably shouldn't have been foul, shouldn't have been a travel or whatnot, but it's life and it happens and we're excited for next season. Mike, if we win next year, it's dedicated to you. Thank you, Mike Westman. You're the man. For everyone, I'm Brian Harmon Emotional Boys. And for me, Mike Westmiller. Thank you for watching all season.